Today's video, we will be discussing about Mathematics Paper 4, Mechanics M1, 2019, February March 42, 9709. Number 1. A small ring P of mass 0 0.03 kg is threaded on a rough vertical plane. As the plane is rough, that means there is an effect of friction. A light inextensible string is attached to the ring and is pulled upwards at an angle of 15 degree to the horizontal. The tension in the string is 2.5 Newton. The ring is in limiting equilibrium that means it is about to move and is at the point of sliding up the rod. So the ring is at the point of sliding up the rod that means frictional force would act downwards. Find the coefficient of friction that means the value of mu between the ring and the rod. So, first of all, we find the value of R and then at equilibrium, upward force is equal to downward force. We equate this to find the value of mu. 2. A particle is projected vertically upwards. So, the particle is projected vertically upwards with a speed of 30 meter per second from a point on the horizontal ground. Show that the maximum height above the ground reached by the particle is 45 meter. At maximum height, the final velocity is 0 so final velocity is 0 initial is 30 and as it move upward so acceleration is minus 10 if the object is moving downwards then the acceleration will be plus 10 so for movement of upwards it we will consider acceleration as minus 10 so v square minus u square is equal to 2 as we equate this to find the value of h that is 45 meter hence soon then Find the time it takes for the particle to reach a height of 33.75 meter above the ground for the first time. And find the speed of the particle at this time. So when a height or a distance of 33.75 meter, we know that the distance, we also know that the value of initial speed that is 30 meter per second. And we know that the acceleration is minus 10 since it moves upwards. So we can use the equation s is equal to ut plus half at square and we substitute our value to find the value of t that is 4.5 second and 1.5 second and since it only needs or requires the time when it is first at this height. So it moves upwards, it reaches its height, then it moves again upwards and then for the downward movement it reaches the same height. So this question requires us to find the first time or when it moves upwards when it reaches this height for the first time. So this would be 1.5 second. Then by using the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 as we find the value of velocity that is 15 meter per second. For coplanar forces of magnitude f newton 15 newton, 5 newton and 25 newton acts on a point at point P and the forces are in equilibrium so for these forces that are in equilibrium we need to find the value of F and the value of alpha so for each of these forces we need to find their vertical and the horizontal component and we have to equate each horizontal component with one another and the vertical component to each other then by equating these two equations we know that sine theta by cos theta is equal to tan, tan theta so we divide equation 1 by equation 2 and value of f cancels each other out and tan theta or tan alpha is 3.3127 so the value of alpha is 73.2 degree since we know that the value of alpha is this so we substitute the value of alpha in any of this equation to find the value of force that is 31.5 newton in question number four a car of mass mass 1500 kg is pulled pulling a trailer of mass 300 kg along a straight horizontal road at a constant speed of 20 meter per second so here we have to note that the speed is constant so no resultant force is acting 
that means driving force is equal to resistive force the system the car and the trailer are modeled as two particles two different particles are connected by light edged horizontal rod the power of the car's engine is 6 6000 watts so the power of the car engine is 6000 watt this is our car and this is our trailer so the power of the car is 6000 watts and both are moving at a speed of 20 meter per second tension here is t there is a constant resistive force to the motion r on the car so car experiences a resistive force of r and the trailer experiences a resistive force of 80 newton find the value of r so to find the value of r if we consider these two scenarios as different that means if we consider the car as the point of observation so driving force minus resistive force minus t is equal to mass into acceleration and since it is moving at a constant speed so acceleration is zero hence we find our first expression and for the six, second expression if we consider trailer as the point of observation so tension minus resistive force that is 80 newton we find the value of tension and since we know the value of tension we substitute this in the first equation to find the value of r that is 220 newton but as it is of two mark question so in considering to this mark we can consider this whole system as our object and so the driving force minus resistive force that is 80 newton and r newton is equal to mass into acceleration that is zero so we equate this to find the value of r since it is a two mark question and also we don't need the value of t here question number four part b the power of the car's engine is increased to 12500 watts so the power is increased the resistance to motion does not change so resistance to motion remains the same that is 80 newton for the trailer and r newton for the car find the acceleration of the car and the trailer the and the tension in this rod so we need to find the also the value of tension and the acceleration acceleration and tension at an instant when the speed of the car is 25 meter per second so we have given that the speed of the car is 25 meter per second but initially we have given 20 meter per second now the speed of the car is increased and hence acceleration would occur so for each object we have drawn the sketch driving force is acting forwards we know the value of power and the value of velocity and since we know the value of power and velocity so driving force is equal to power by velocity so driving force minus resistive force that is t and r is equal to mass into acceleration so we equate this to find our first expression that is given and for the second expression if we consider trailer as the point of observation so tension minus resistive force is equal to mass into acceleration so we equate this to find our second expression then solve it simultaneously to find the value of acceleration and then we substitute the value of acceleration in any of this equation to find the value of tension that is 113 newton correct to three significant figures question number five part a find the distance traveled by the particle in the first eight second of motion so we need to find the distance in the first eight second of motion so for this distance we have to find the velocity at this point so we know that there is a constant acceleration so acceleration is equal to velocity by time we use this equation to find the value of vel velocity it is 9 meter per second since we know the value of velocity so we can find the distance that is area under the first triangle and the second triangle and the area under the trapezium so we calculate the value of distance that is 40 meter and the area of the trapezium would be half into sum of two parallel sides that is 7 into 9 7 plus 9 into height that is 5 minus 3 so 2 so half into sum of two parallel sides into height then part b given that the particle comes to rest at t is equal to 16 and its displacement from o is 32 meter so we know that the value of displacement so the total displacement at time t is equal to 16 is 32 meter that means the distance at this area 
minus distance at this area is equal to displacement that is 32 so we know the distance in the for the first area that is 40 meter so the distance for the second area would be displacement so displacement would be distance of the first area that is 40 minus distance of the second area so we find the distance of the second area that is 8 meter since we know the, the distance for the second area is 8 meter and this is a triangle so half into base into height where base is 8 that is 16 minus 8 and the height is v so distance for the second area is half into base into height is equal to 8 meter so we find the velocity that is 2 meter per second and since it is at a negative axis so the velocity would be negative so in question number 6 part 1 a particle moves in a straight line which starts from rest at a fixed point O on the line it is acceleration at t seconds after leaving O is a meter per second square so where A is equal to the given expression so in part 1 show that you have to show that in the subsequent motion the acceleration of the particle when it comes to inst instantaneous rest at instantaneous rest whenever it mentions about instantaneous rest that means at velocity is equal to 0 we have to show that acceleration is equal to 60 meter per second square so when velocity is 0 we have to show that the value of acceleration is this so to show this we need to first the expression for velocity since we know the expression for acceleration so the expression for velocity is that is we have to integrate acceleration with respect to t after integrating we get an expression of velocity in terms of c and at time t is equal to 0 velocity is 0 that is the value of c is also 0 so we get an expression for velocity then at instantaneous rest it would be at instantaneous at instantaneous rest velocity is 0 after equating it to 0 we find the value of t that is 4 second and when the value of t is 4 second we we put this value of time in the expression of acceleration and find the acceleration as 60 meter per second square so we have shown this that at instantaneous rest the acceleration is 60 meter per second square find the displacement of the particle from O at t is equal to 5 so we have to find the displacement at t is equal to 5 and since we know that the expression for velocity from this previous question or previous part so we have to integrate velocity with respect to t to find an expression for displacement in terms of c and at time t is equal to 0 velocity is 0 so displacement is also 0 so we put this in the expression to find the value of c that is 0 thus when t is equal to 5 we put the value of time in the expression of displacement and find the displacement as negative 9.05 meter number 7 this is a quite difficult question the diagram shows the vertical cross section pqr of a slide so p q and r of a slide the part pq is a straight line of length 8 meter so the length of pq is 8 meter we have to remember this that pq is equal to 8 meter and is inclined at an angle of alpha to the horizontal so this value of angle is alpha where sine alpha is 0 0.8 since we know the value of sine alpha we can find the value of cos alpha that is this and this part of the question is quite a nuisance so you can avoid this part and r is a height of and r is at a height of 5 meter above the level, level of p so i is at a height of h meter above level p and the straight part pq 
of the slide is rough so pq is rough that means from p to q there is an effect of friction and curved part qr is smooth and qr is smooth that means there is no effect of friction so between pq there is an effect of friction that means mu r and the particle of mass 0 0.25 kg that means 0 0.25 g acting vertically downwards so for this component of weight we need to find the horizontal and the vertical component of this weight in respective to this to its path is moving with a speed of 50 meter per second so speed that is u is equal to 15 meter per second from point p towards q and comes to rest at r so it comes to rest at r that means at r velocity is zero the coefficient of friction between the particle uh, and the plane pq is 0 0.5 that means the value of mu from p to q is 0 0.5 so now we need to find the work done by friction frictional force during the motion of the particle from p to q so as we know that as we know that there is an effect of friction between pq so we need to find the work done to resist this friction so work done is equal to force into distance force into distance and since it is for the frictional force that is mu r so work done is equal to mu r into distance we know that the value of distance is 8 meter that is the length of pq and the value of mu that is 0 0.5 so we need to find the value of r and since r is the vertical component of the surface that is the value of r is equal to the value of vertical component of weight so we equate this to value of r to find the value of r that is 3 by 2 or 1.5 newton so placing the value of r in this equation we find the work that is 6 joules then in part b or part 2 of the question hence find the speed of the particle at q so for the particle at q we need to find the speed at this point so the speed at this point would be v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and since we know the value of u that is 15 meter per second that is given here u is 15 meter per second then 2 and the value of s is 8 meter that we know that the length of pq is 8 meter so the value of s is also 8 meter but we need to find the value of a to find the value of v that is the speed of the particle at q for the speed of the particle at q we need to first find the value of a so for the value of a we can equate the forces that is downward force is equal to upward force and since there is no upward force so the downward force that is mu r and the downward component of weight is equal to mass into acceleration and since acceleration is negative 11 that means since there is no upward force and due to this downward force acceleration is negative 11 so for this acceleration of negative 11 we need to find the value of v by using the equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so we find the value of v that is 7 meter per second and it is a positive value so in part 3 or third part of this question find the value of h so for this value of h you can see that to find this value of h we already know the length of pq that means this side and we know the value of alpha that is this angle so by using sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse we can find the length of this height and since we know that the value of this height so we know this part of this height now we already need to find the value of this h that is this region so to find the value of h at this region we know that from q to r since this is a smooth plane that means there is no effect of friction and so the kinetic energy at point q is equal to the gravitational potential energy at r and r 
and at point r since we know that it comes to rest that means velocity is zero and since velocity is zero that means at point r there is no kinetic energy so kinetic energy at point q is equal to gravitational potential energy at r so considering q as a level ground kinetic energy at q would be half mv square but the value of b that we have calculated initially is 7 meter per second so kinetic energy at q is equal to gravitational potential energy at r that means mass into gravitational field strength into the value of this height or the or the symbol for this height we equate this to find the value of h1 or the value of h1 is 2.45 meter now we have done our main part that is the finding the value of h1 since we know that the value of h1 so the value of h2 would be sine alpha is equal to opposite by hypotenuse so we equate this and the find the value of h2 that is 6.4 meter since we know that the value of h1 and h2 so we find the value of h total that is 8.85 meter side to three significant figures